G'day guys, welcome to another Salt and Carbon episode. In last week's episode we made our way to the beautiful town of Calbarri, but en route we saw a beautiful pink lake, we showed you around some ridiculously nice cliffs and uh, met some of the locals. In this episode we'll head to Calbarri National Park and do some of the walks that the area has to offer. Morning guys. So we just drove from Calbarri to Calbarri National Park to come and see the Skywalk. It's only about a 35 minute drive. So um, we've tried to make it for sunrise. And as you can see there, the sun is just poking up. So we've just, just made it. There you can see the Skywalk over there. Does anyone know what the science is behind flies coming out as soon as the sun comes above the, the, the horizon? There's flies everywhere, right? So just as the sun is below the horizon, there's nothing. And not even a minute after the sun is up, boom, you're just smashed with flies all of a sudden. So this is what Jen and I have resorted to, to combat the flies. And we were just saying how once you've put the net on, you just succumb and you just allow the flies to sit on you wherever you want to, as long as they don't fly into your nose or your mouth. And then we said, it's kind of like Fear Factor. You know, I don't know if, if any of you watch Fear Factor, but allowing they, they would always put you like in a tub a tub of cockroaches or something like that and you just allow allow all the cockroaches to just crawl over you and so on i kind of feel like that once i've got the fly net on i just allow all the flies to sit on you so the skywalk is right over there it's kind of like a bit of a grand canyon -y sort of vibes same colors as well Absolutely beautiful. What? How beautiful is that? Jeez. So there's another 10 kilometer walk or loop walk that goes around this way. So we finally made up our mind. We're gonna be doing the 10 kilometer loop anyway. It's uh, it's too beautiful to not go. So we packed our bags, including the Zolio, just in case something goes wrong, um, and enough water. Obviously it's gonna be very hot today. <whistles>
So we're about halfway through our hike now, uh, sitting at about five kilometers. We've just moved over from that ridge that you can see in the background there to the shady side. Obviously the sun's gonna come over soon. Uh, just to cool down a little bit because that side is very hot. Uh, drink some water, just have a bit of a rest and then we'll carry on going again. So far this place is really pretty. Uh, it's the red colors and the, and the white sands. It's just beautiful. I'll swing it around so you can see. Look how beautiful that gorge is over there, or those, that, that rock face. Absolutely stunning. The first part of the hike, you walk up on a ledge, constantly looking down into the valley or into the canyon, and or the, the first third of the walk, let's say. And now we're walking all along the bottom, the riverbed. I don't think you'd be able to do this this walk if there was a bit of a flood event because a lot of the areas where you're walking now you're actually walking on the sand on the riverbed itself while we were taking a break in the shade jen realized that my back was absolutely covered in flies just have a look at that crazy Jen and I finished our 10 kilometer hike, which was really good. Um, it's a bit strange though, this national park. Once you're in it, it the, the skywalk is quite deep into the national park. So it makes sense to just do all of the other little viewpoints while you're in here. Otherwise it's another 30 minutes or to an hour's drive to get around to this point again. So we're just busy doing all of the, the little lookouts now. After a hard day of exploring the national park, we decided to head back to Kalbarri, drive up the lagoon, which is actually the Murchison River that you can see on the right hand side of the screen. We then had a nice swim and just relaxed on the foreshore really. Morning everyone, it's our last morning in Kalbarri. We're just filling up with some water now. Uh, we got up nice and early this morning and did the park run and we actually came first and second. Can you believe it? That's never happened before. But yeah, we've really loved our time here at Kalbarri. It's a really spectacular place with all of the red cliffs and the blue oceans together. It looks amazing. Um, definitely should be on your list of places to see if you ever are in the area and yes we'll be heading up north so towards deep point got a bit of a drive ahead of us today so want to get cracking thank you guys for watching this episode in next week's episode we'll be heading to steep point the most westerly point of australia and if you have stuck through this far please consider subscribing it'll help us out a lot Thank you, see you next time.